Hi, so see you again. Hi, G. Kamusta? Hello. Wow. And then the background. Hi. Reggie, I want you to meet uh, Vesad and uh, Marianne from LA. Hi. Good evening, po. Uh, Reggie is from uh, uh, Reggie is from Houston, Texas. Wow. From Houston, Texas. We want to go there. Halika, social na kayo dito. O, oh, sige, sige. Kasi ano, gusto namin mag-drive papuntang Florida, eh, dadaan ng Texas. Yeah. Punta kayo sa Bestin, Florida, 8-hour drive lang, 7. Ah, talaga? O, oh, sige, sige. Parang ano yun? White sand. Wow. Oh, sige, wow. sige. Oh, wow. White sand. <laughs> What about the weather? How about the weather? Maganda rin. Parang ano lang. It's like LA. Like Philippines or worse? No, mas maganda dito yung weather. Ngayon nga, di ba humid sa Philippines? Dito ngayon hindi na. Pag summer oh, na. It's better than Philippines the weather. Ask the, the questions. No, my Bible is nice. Not... Pastor Jeff, uh, may questions si Besad. Is that okay? Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, Besad. Hi, Sister LV. Good evening. Good evening. Si Pastor parang ano, Aditi. Hello, kamarang mga pito. Parang radio announcer. Parang radio announcer, Pastor, ah. Ang dating, ah. Oo nga. Ganda ng mic. Para mas malinaw. Parang DJ. Go ahead, Besad. What is your question? Come on. I cannot answer the question, so... I said, we asked the pastor Jeff. As long as it is not a mathematical problem. No, it's not. No, it's not mathematical. It's not politics. Oh, Beso is not Filipino. Sorry. It's okay. He can speak the language. Okay, that is. My question is, I believe in Jesus totally, and I know He forgive everybody, no matter. Mm -hmm. And I'm include myself for mm -hmm. the as a uh, the person who commit always sin, 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 sin like that. Mm -hmm. So I, my question is, uh, uh, if um, when when Jesus forgive everybody, no matter. And then I was I was thinking. Um, good and bad people, Jesus will forgive them because we have all we have seen. Mm -hmm. So I was asking Mary, I said, Mary, can you answer me? She said, No, I cannot answer you. Ask Pastor Jeff. <laughs> uh, so, so, my question is uh, mm -hmm. why we have to be good mm -hmm. because we are always forgiven. Okay, so here's the thing. One good thing about the uh, about our Lord, one good thing about our Lord Jesus Christ is that uh, he made it simpler. The law he he made the law simpler, in a sense that you just you just, ask, you just need to repent, turn away from your wicked ways, and then uh, ask for forgiveness, humble yourself to him, and then he will forgive you, and then. Uh, once you are forgiven, now you will realize what is love. You will experience what is love and to be loved. Then the manifestation is doing good. Here's the thing. Other religion will ask us to do good first in able for us to somehow uh, be acceptable in front of God. But that is not the thing. Jesus said, whoever you are, whether you're a bad person, you're a good person, if you will come to me, have a relationship with me, accept me as your personal Lord and Savior, then you'll be with me in paradise. Same thing with the thief. Yeah. That, uh, he's, he's, uh, he was uh, crucified with Jesus and uh, he believed in Jesus. He said that, uh, Lord, uh, please don't forget me. And uh, he accepted Jesus on that same time, same day, and uh, Jesus promised him, I'll see you in paradise. So the, here's the thing. In our, uh, what we believe in is that we, we are not entering a religion that is require, uh, requiring us for, for us to do good. 
we can come uh, to God who uh, who uh, as who we are, and then uh, doing good is a manifestation of relationship with Jesus Christ. Did I answer your question, Vesad? Uh, to me, doing good is the uh, step on the, uh, Jesus' way. Mm -hmm. Is humanity Jesus' way is humanity to me, mm -hmm. and um, humanity is a love, and Jesus is love. Hum everything is God, and mm -hmm. God is love, and God is Jesus. Mm -hmm. So to me, uh, all uh, all the doing good things is uh, the rule of God and Jesus to me. Mm -hmm. that so, so I I can see a lot of people they keep saying uh, they. Jesus, Jesus, he will forgive us, but, but they never step, they never follow the rule. The, mm -hmm. Because Jesus said, if you want to uh, see my father, you have to serve my people. Mm -hmm. That's the that's do, meaning doing good. Yes, because there's uh, probably they are in the stage of everybody's in process. We need to, uh, you know, uh, we are being dealt by God uh, individually. Uh, not everybody is in the same track. Uh, everybody's in process. Some uh, others are like, you know, they can mature easily. Others are like, they, it will take time for them. But the thing is, it is very important for us not to look into people, but to always focus ourselves into Jesus. One thing I, I, I'd like to give an example is is that uh, when uh, uh, there's a saying in this world that uh, uh, so, uh, but feather, uh, birds with the same feathers flock together. It, it is the same thing that like uh, when your friend is so good to you, even though you are not that nice, it is somehow like contagious that uh, you become also a, a good person because you're always with it, you're always with that person. Uh, comparing with uh, there's this another friend that you know not so good person. You know you keep on. Uh, uh, he or she probably keep on uh, uh, influencing you into doing bad things, and then, and then you do the same thing. Somehow, if you have this beautiful relationship with Jesus, you came to realize that this is a good God, this is a loving God, and um, the manifestation would be, you know, it will be goodness. There will be righteousness. Uh, 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 there will be uh, no evil in your heart because you you are in the presence of this beautiful God. You you are into a relationship. That's why uh, Christianity is more of actually a relationship with Jesus Christ, not a religion, something like that. Yeah, uh, but I'm saying because um, there is no doubt Jesus Christ and God and Holy Spirit, they are the one. Mm -hmm. I believe on that. This is my faith also. Amen. Uh, but most of the people focusing on uh, these three, they never focus on themselves, their own life. Mm -hmm. they, keep, they, they keep doing whatever they do. Mm -hmm. and they never change. And they, they keep saying, Jesus will forgive us. I'm talking about the, uh, old, about the born again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why we need to to not focus on other people, but instead pray for them. Uh, whenever we see them, that they are kind of you know falling short. Uh, it is important for us to focus on our faith, focus on Jesus, and uh, pray for these people who are not you know we we see that they are kind of lagging. Uh, uh, they they kind of uh, you know the maturity is not that. Um, uh, acceptable or whatever, uh, uh, if, if, if that can, if, if you can call it as that. Uh, anyway, uh, good evening, Tita Fe, and uh, good evening, Pastor James. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> good evening, uh, EO four nine one one. Kindly. Uh, uh, Good evening. Sino po sila? Si Ron. Ron, ano po? Ronald de la Cruz. Ay! <laughs> Good evening, bro. Hindi kita nakilala. <laughs> <laughs> si brother Ronald pala ito. 
Ayan, mm-hmm. good evening, good evening. So good evening, we, good evening to all of you. Mm-hmm. Good evening po. So we have here, so ipalitan ko lang yung mga, i-rename ko lang kayo. Tita Fe. Ayan, para mas madali nating maano. Ayan, so we have here Marian and Besad from LA. Sister LV, good evening. She's also from LA. Uh, Tita Fe from LA. Reggie from uh, si Reggie from Texas. There you go. And Brother Ronald from LA. Hi, Sister LV. Good evening, good evening. There you go. So, let's start. Wala si Tita Fe. Okay. All right, before we start, uh, Besad, uh, did I answer your question or do you have any other question? Um, yes. Um, I recognize we have to focus on Jesus and Holy Spirit and Trinity. Mm-hmm. And we are not focused to the people. Mm-hmm. Whatever people do is between them and God. Amen. It doesn't matter what they say. They are Christian or yes. Muslim or Amen. Jewish. Amen. Uh, it's all about um, Jesus' way. Yep. Amen. The, the best preaching is not actually just not just uh, proclaiming the word. No, it is really living the word. It is being shown in you. The best uh, compliment that a Christian can get uh, that would be uh, people saying, "Hey, I can see Jesus in you. I can see Jesus in your life." It's not about what we say. It's not about what we preach because we're just like a, a, a loud gong and a clanging zimbal if we are. If we're if you're talking about God and it and it is not being seen in our life, but if ever we see other people, other brothers and sisters who are living that way, we we don't condemn them, we don't uh, you know outcast them, but instead pray for them for their growth because uh, as we said, they are being dealt by, by God individually. That is uh, one thing good uh, with our God. He's so patient, right? We are all in the process. So and this is some sometimes I'm. Hello? Yes, go ahead, Besat. Do you have time? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Yeah. Sometimes because uh, I used to be Muslim mm-hmm. and uh, I believe in, in Jesus now mm-hmm. because uh, I can see um, Jesus uh, was didn't have any religion. He was Jewish but uh, was mm-hmm. not religious. Mm-hmm. So I, I came from religious country also. Mm-hmm. I just can say... Um, uh, the people uh, follow the religion mm-hmm. uh, they cannot find the truth and they, uh, if you don't mind what country are you from uh, iran oh iran the the great uh, persian empire yeah. so uh it is uh, rich with uh, religion and history i i agree with you uh <laughs> yes, all right thank, thank you so much i appreciate it. Yes, yes, thank you, Vesad. So let's start. Before we start, let's ask Sister LV to uh, open us in prayer. Sister LV. Okay, thank you, Lord. Father, we just want to thank you today. We praise you and we worship you, Lord, for this, uh, for this time, Lord, that you have given us. Lord, uh, may you be with us today as we listen or as we uh, study your, your words. And may you give us wisdom, O oh Lord, and join us today. And also we pray for the Holy Spirit to guide us and lead us and lead Pastor Jeff as he, as he share his words. And we give you all the glory and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Welcome to LA First Church of the Nazarene, the Filipino congregation. Uh, that would be our official name. So for tonight, uh, let's talk about good, better, best. Uh, when we say good, better, best for Filipinos, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're always thinking of, I don't know if you're familiar with Pusoy. Are you familiar mm. with Pusoy? <laughs> Brother sure. Ronald, nagpupusoy ka ba, Brother Ronald? Ne- negative, Pastor. Negative. Sabi ko na nga po mo, ba ito eh. <laughs> How about you, Pastor James? Nagpupusoy ka ba? Hindi. <laughs> Hindi. Matitino ang naging member mo, Pastor. <laughs> ano po yung pusoy? Ano po poker. Yun? Uh, ah. English poker. Poker. Yeah. Pala yung poker. 
Madaming pusoy sa Pilipino. May pusoy dos, may pusoy na... Ano po yung tong eats? Ano po yung tong eats? Well, it's another form of pusoy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's another form of pusoy. Kasi ang Pilipino... <laughs> Mahilig ang Pinoy mag ano yung mag, uh, kumbaga, mag... Uh, Gumawa ng word. <laughs> yeah, mag-innovate din ng laro. Aba, may certain game, iikutan nila, gagawa nila ng ibang rules. So, mm. kaya iba yung street streetball dito sa Amerika, iba rin yung streetball sa Pilipinas. Yung, kumbaga, malagi tayong may Pinoy version. Anyway, anyway, we'll be talking about food better best, but not actually... You know, in the sense of being, uh, 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 in the sense of uh, playing pusoy. But uh, lang natin yung title na good, better, best. Because we want to, we want to, ano, uh, learn something into uh, using these three words, no, good, better, best. No? So for number one, it says here, uh, overcome with good, no. So, kung may katabi ka dyan, if there's somebody next to you, tell that person, be good. Ayan. Ako lang po. Oh. <laughs> be good. Yeah, this, this, is something, this is something that uh, Besset is asking uh, uh, earlier that uh, we need to be a good person. It says here in Romans 12, 21, do not overcome evil, but overcome evil with good. good. That's that's my favorite verse. Amen, amen. About so we, so yun yung uh, first lesson. Our second lesson would be be better. Yeah, don't give it up. Right in Proverbs Proverbs seventeen twenty two, a joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So, so this is a follow up from the last. Uh, Friday that we talked about. So we are kind of making a series about, you know, encouraging people because uh, during this time, eh, a lot of people are, you know, kind of experiencing anxiety, depression, and because of our situation. So let's look at what the Bible is saying in our life. So how about sa best naman? Be the best and don't let the storm in. In uh, Mark 4.39, there's a story there. Sabi doon, then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. All right, So, let's start. Game na ba kayo? Mapag- game, game, na. Game, game na. Game na oh, game. Na, game, na. game na. So, let's start. Matuto tayo. Overcome evil with good. Ano ba ang... Uh, what can you uh, say about this statement? That we need to overcome evil with good. Anybody? Mm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Me. sister. Um, in my uh, in our business, uh, before we we had a jewelry store, and there's a lot of people they they conned us and betrayed us, and the oh. bounce check is like for twenty years. It's like we have almost a million dollar uh, bounce check. Mm-hmm. But um, I always thank God because we we prayed mm-hmm. and I said to God that um, uh, God, you you bless us. You will can take everything that you've given us if you want to. So those people that there before I, I was so mad because mm-hmm. early in the morning when you open the mailbox, it's a lot of bounce shit, something oh. like that. I said, <laughs> oh my God, and then I just crying and. And after that, when I so concentrate in uh, in the church, mm-hmm. I prayed for them. I just prayed for them, mm-hmm. and I, I, that's why I love this verse. Mm-hmm. Instead of uh, being getting mad, I when they called me and they say something, I I exchange it with the with the good words, and uh, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. And then I, if you do that, mm-hmm. they're going to uh, respond in a good way too. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of people they betrayed us, they come back to us and paid us too. Mm-hmm. Amen. So I said, um, really, God is good. When you exchange mm-hmm. the, 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 the evil in a goodness, in a good way, mm-hmm. they're going to, uh, you know, change it. God will do the rest. Just mm-hmm. uh, do, do our part. Who is, do the, our part. who is the best model? In terms of this statement, do not Jesus. be overcome by evil, right? But yes. overcome evil with good. It's Jesus, right? It's the yes. 
Yes. A lot of evil things happened to him. A lot of evil people surrounded him. But, no? But they still naman. saying that uh, the Father forgive them. They, they're not, they, they don't, don't, know, they don't what know what they're doing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Brother James, kindly read the first slide. Okay. The scripture says, We overcome evil with good. In other words, when somebody is rude or inconsiderate, don't sit down to their level. Don't be rude and inconsiderate back to them. Mm -hmm. What can we say about this? Uh, uh, there's a specific example. Alimbawa, when somebody is rude to you, when somebody's inconsiderate, like giving you bouncing checks, or you know, uh, people are that somebody's like uh, not fair to you, somebody's uh, unjust. No, may meron ditong uh, life lesson don't be rude and inconsiderate back to them. First, of course, yes. Jesus is our model, right? But for you guys, have you experienced? Uh, 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 have you experienced this? Uh, people are rude to you and considerate. And how did you react? No? You can share. Anybody? Daddy, share it. Mm -hmm. Was there a time that people were like rude to you, yeah. considerate? Uh, yes. It says here, don't sink down to their level, but instead don't be rude and inconsiderate back to them. So is there anything that you experience lately? You don't have to mention names or anything, just the experience. And uh, what did you do? When, when you gave the Pastor Besa the one time, he, saw the, he thought that he, she was unharmless mm -hmm. and he gave the money to her. <laughs> uh -huh. And when she, when she got so mad and uh, trying to, yung baston. <laughs> trying to hit Besa instead of saying thank you. He said, Besa, I'm so sorry. I just thought that you are needing help. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about the others? Is there something that an experience you? Remember? So it says here, no? Sister, uh, Sister, Sister Reggie, kindly read this, please. Oh, if you're... If you're going to rise higher, if you're going to overcome, you must do just the opposite. You must show trust, kindness, grace, and mercy. Uh, do you agree that we are called by God to rise higher? No? Yes. In Filipino, wag maging mapagpatol. Diba? Amen. Uh, ko muna kayo. If people are being rude to you, if people are being inconsiderate to you, and you felt this somehow irritation in you, is that valid? <laughs> is that a valid feeling? Yes. You. Of yes. course. Yes, yes right. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Are, are, you, uh, are you sinning? Is it, uh, are you sinning in that particular moment that you felt irritated, you somehow felt angry? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, no. in, in a sense but yeah that is an that is an emotional feeling no because yeah. you were there are people who are rude inconsiderate so you felt mm -hmm. something inside of you that is not nice but it will be a scene once you started to uh, in Psalm 44 it says that uh, in your anger do not sin because anger is an it's a natural Reaction, reaction of people, yeah. right? Yeah. So, but if you stay in that position, if you stay in that uh, in that situation, you allow yourself. Yes. No, uh, there's a saying that uh, you 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 can you can allow the birds to, to fly on your head, no, uh, but uh, you you cannot allow them to to make or to build a nest over your head. So same thing with anger, irritations, or anything, or any bad emotions that uh, that can lead to sinning. Because God called us to rise higher, no? Uh, in Filipino nga, eh, wag tayong mapagpatol at uh, meron tayong panawagang mas mataas pa dyan. But if you felt bad, it is it is natural, right? Kaya nga dapat nagpapababa ka muna ng tama eh, para bago ka mag-react, right? If you if you are going to overcome, you must do just the opposite. 
ano yung opposite? Here's the thing. If people are are not nice to you, they are rude to you, they are inconsiderate, they are unjust, they are disrespectful. Here's the thing. You need to what? You need to show trust, no? no? People are shouting at you or people are sending you email or they are uso ngayon bashers or whatever. You need to show trust. You need to show kindness. You need to show grace and mercy. Nako, ang hirap naman yan, Pastor. <laughs> what can you say about that? Is it worth it doing this? Or it, this is just a fantasy? Or this is just a, a, a ridiculous uh, uh, thought? What can you say it's, about that? It's hard, Pastor, but by the grace of God, yeah, it's possible. Yes, mm -hmm. it's hard if we're only the ones going to do it. But by it's only by His grace that we can do it. So yes. we need the help of God. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Somehow it is impossible for us to we can act this out actually mm -hmm. yeah there's no sincerity yeah it's not if, pure mm -hmm. if, 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 if we want this to be as pure as it is we need yes. the help of the Holy Spirit right amen amen so meron pang isang ano isang tagubili ng Bible meron there's this another uh, life lesson from the Bible when somebody who are they are being rude to you, inconsiderate, you you need to prepare your uh, fruit salad daw. Nako, nalala. Ah. Papa. <laughs> you uh, want some fruit parang, of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> parang hindi kompleto ang Pasko pagka walang fruit salad, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, Besad, in the Philippines, uh, Noche Buena or in Christmas Eve, uh, on Christmas Eve, whenever we gather, it's like the Thanksgiving here in the U.S., there's always a fruit salad. So have you tasted a fruit salad? That's so good and uh, creamy and uh, bad for diabetes. <laughs> so we need, to, we need to prepare our fruit salad. What are the fruit salad? So the fruit of the Spirit. Patience. Uh, among this, so let, let us ask Tita Fe to read all the fruit of the Spirit. Tita Fe, kindly read all the fruit of the Spirit. Oh, uh, love, patience, mm -hmm. kindness, mm -hmm. uh, perseverance. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, oh, you, oh, Tita Fe, uh, memorize it. <laughs> it's, on, it's on the screen, Tita Fe. <laughs> she memorized it by heart. Kasi ginagawa niya yan araw-araw. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, yeah. peace, kindness, joy, yeah. love, faith. kindness, yes, patience, yeah. goodness, temperance, faith. Nine. Mm -hmm. Nine. So among this, temperance, faith, what, love, what is your favorite? Faith, perseverance, love. Love. For James, it's love. love. Yeah. How about you, Tita Fe? What is your favorite? Love. Love. Uh -huh. It's about... it like a tree. Mm -hmm. To illustrate it faster, like a tree. Okay. A big tree has the primary root, and that's love. Amen. And then it, the primary root is helped by the secondary roots, and mm -hmm. then the secondary roots comes the ter tertiary roots, and mm -hmm. then the superficial uh, roots. Amen. So because, the main, the main, the main root is love. Yeah, because God is love. That is His uh, main operating system, love. How about you, uh, Sister Elvie? What is your favorite? I love then. Love then. How about you, Sister Reggie? Anong madalas mong ginagamit dyan? Um, pinaka gusto ko, ano, faithfulness. Faithfulness. Next. Faithfully. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ayun. Kindness, yan. Kindness. How about you, Brother Roland? Anong favorite mo dyan? Joy pala, Joy. Favorito ko ito. Ano eh? All-in-one. All All-in-one. Fruit salad talaga. Fruit salad. Hot na. It's all there. All-in-one na. All-in-one. How about you, uh, Sister Marianne and Brother Besad? What is your favorite among the fruit of the Spirit? The hot. 
Ayan. Ah, uh, muted po kayo. Oh, you're, mute. okay. you're muted. <sighs> Nakamute kayo si Sam. Love, kindness, and faithfulness. How about you, Brother Besad? Um, my, uh, when we talk about love, to mm. me, uh, there is two love, mm -hmm. two kind of love. Love of human, love of God. So, uh, I, in my whole life, I recognize that uh, we have to forget about love of uh, this earth, mm -hmm. physical earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, the love of, um, because physical love is uh, very temporary. Yep, it fades but, away. Yes. Yeah, but uh, love of God is unconditional, mm -hmm. forever, never fail, mm -hmm. and then uh, we have Amen. to have that. Yeah. Amen. I like wow, that, I like that word, unconditional. It mm -hmm. never asks for anything in return, right? Yes. Yeah. That's agape love. In Greek, it's agape. Right, so uh, our lesson is telling us, it is teaching us you know, this verse to uh, prepare a fruit salad. Fruit salad not in the sense that uh, the fruit salad that we're eating during Christmas, but the fruit of the Spirit. You know? uh, Brother Ronald, kindly read this please. Thank you. Sir. Uh, kindly read yung ating next slide. Hindi ko Ah, ta 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 ta. Naka-minimize eh. Okay, sige. Maximize mo. Ito, ito, ito. Sige, hindi ko mo. Sandili lang. Nasaan na ba ako? It isn't always easy. I'm lost, Pastor. Ah, sige, sige. I'm lost. Ipasa natin kay Brother James. Brother James. Ah, okay. Okay, here we go. Sorry, Brother James. It's okay. Yeah, it... It isn't always easy. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's almost never easy. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of hum humility to treat someone with respect who is dis uh, dis disrespecting respect. you. Mm -hmm. But you. But do you know what happens when you walk humility? humility? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sabi dito, no, binanggit ni Brother Ronald, hindi daw palaging madali. In fact, hindi... Mm -hmm. Hindi talaga madali. <laughs> Di ba? Kailangan mo ng maraming pagpapakumbaba. It takes a lot of humility to treat someone na disrespectful sa'yo. Right? Do you agree with that? Amen. Yes. Pero dito sabi, may tanong eh. Ang tanong, do you know what happens when you walk in humility? Ayan na nga. Yes. Of the Spirit. Ayan. May biruan dati eh. Kapag ka daw... Uh, kapag ka daw nakikita tayo nakikita ba daw ang mga prutas if people are are, are, are seeing us uh, are the fruits are, are, are the fruit of the spirit being manifested or sa Tagalog eh nalalaglag ba daw palagi yung mga prutas natin <laughs> tayo mga krisyano kasi tayong mga krisyano lagi daw tayo dapat may bunga at lagi yeah. dapat nakikita at lagi dapat Uh, hinahangaan, hindi tayo, kundi yung Diyos na nagbigay sa atin, nagturo sa atin, na lagi dapat nating karga-karga itong mga fruit of the Spirit na to Na hindi dapat nalalaglag tuwing darating tayo sa sitwasyon na kailangan uh, nating gamitin. So, ang, uh, ang payo dito eh, hindi madali, pero kailangan nating magpakumbaba and mm. treat someone with respect who is disrespecting you. Amen? That is true, Pastor. That's true. Go ahead, go ahead. But other people, especially those non-Christian, they uh they criticize uh uh Christian people like uh, sabi nga nila pag hinug na yung ay impuno and then it's already fully ripe bayon. Yep. Ah, binabato nila instead of um. Instead of pipikapen, binabato nila para malaglag. It means binabato ka talagang dinidikdik ka na para na bumigay ka. Yung ganun ba? Binubulog ka para mahulog. Binubuli ka para mahulog ka, bumagsak ka. Para malaglag yung mga prutas. Exactly. Go ahead. 
kailangan nating maging ano uh, stand still. Kailangan matibay yung mga fruits natin na hindi tayo basa-basa magpapabagsak sa kanila. Something mm. like that. But but remember guys, uh, the first uh, person, the the, uh, the first being who experienced these things, no, na kumbaga kaya nga ang challenge. Ang maganda kasi sa Lord, he will challenge you because he was able to experience it first. And he was he was victorious, right? He was triumphant. Yes. So the challenge is, kumbaga, for example, I will ask you na, oy, uh, magpapayat kayo pero overweight naman ako. Parang wala naman ako karapatang mag-challenge ng ganun, di ba? Pero kung madami akong abs, di ba? At talagang <laughs> akin ang aking katawan at sexy-sexy, eh pwede ako mag-challenge na magpapayat tayo. What I'm saying is, God already did this, experienced this. Uh, a lot of people were mean to Him. But he was able to overcome. He was able to show humility. He was able to show uh, respect to those people who are disrespecting him. No, actually, uh, uh, madalas nga siyang punahin na kasama niya palagi yung mga makasalanan eh. Mm-hmm. Diba? So this is not something new, no? especially for those people who doesn't believe in God. Actually, we should pity them because you know they don't believe in God. But the thing is, we need to do our part, enable for them to know who God is by living out you know, the, the, the life of Jesus in our lives. So, at uh, leading them to God. That's why we need to uh, invite people to our church, you know, show them how much God loves them. But not actually to showcase our church or what we're doing but to show the love of Christ to these people, right? Amen. All right. So, uh, Sister Reggie, kindly read this. Wait, hindi ko makita. Uh-huh. Okay. God gives you His grace. He empowers you to walk in His goodness. Scripture plainly says, God opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Amen. <laughs> Hello. Nag-ring po yun. It's okay. Dito, ito yung ano eh, ito yung sabi ni ito rin yung sinaya kanina ni Sister Reggie, no? Hindi mo pwedeng gawin lang mag-isa. Kasi if you do it by yourself, mauubos yung PC mo eh. Di ba? Kaya God will give you His grace. Di ba? Ano, an, ano yung ano yung ano? Ano yung sinabi dito? God opposes the proud. Okay? God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. What do you mean by this? The more you humble yourself, the more God will uh, raise you up and give you powers. Amen. To, to uh, conquer the trials and tribulation. Amen. We need to understand that Christianity is being dependent to God. Dependent yeah. as like, just like a baby dependent to his parent. Uh, yes. Dependent in a sense that we ask for our daily bread. We ask for protection. We ask for a house. We ask for a, a car. We ask for good relationships. We even ask God for a better parking space. <laughs> whether it's a small thing, whether it's a big thing, you need to be dependent to God. You don't need to be proud. No? Kumbaga, bawal ang pride chicken sa Panginoon. Kasi galit siya sa pride, sa, ano eh, ano, pride food. Pride food, yes. Yeah, ayaw niya ng pride food. Ayaw niya ng pride. Kasi niya grave. Oh, pride chicken. Ayaw niya ng pride chicken, ha? Kaya dapat hindi tayo mayabang, hindi tayo proud, hindi tayo prideful. At saka tingnan nyo, kapag ganun tayo mapagkumbaba, mas dadami yung mga sasama sa atin dahil magugulat sila eh. Ano ba naman to? Diba? Minura-mura na eh. Hindi man lang nagalit or well, nagalit pero in a sense na hindi naman nag-react na alam niyo kumbaga uh, uh, ang isa sa pinaka mabigat na problema na actually isa sa mga kauna-unahang sin yan eh pride di ba yeah. pride yes. pride yung kasalanan ni Satan tandaan niyo bakit siya nalaglag sa heaven pride din yung gustong mangyari ni Adam at ni Eve na gusto nilang somehow sabi kasi inuuto sila ni Satan na you will become god di ba so pride yun eh so, yes. eh, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Humility is someone na kagaya ng ginawa ni David, no? Talagang in your face sinabi sa kanya ng prophet, di ba? Sabi sa kanya ni Nathan eh, ikaw 'yun, ikaw, ikaw yung adulterer. Anong ginawa agad ni David? No? He knelt down, no? He asked for forgiveness, cried to God, repent, 
and go back to God. But a lot of kings, a lot of famous people, a lot of rich people, a lot of uh, people who are intelligent, they will never do that because of pride. That's why I, I admire Manny Pacquiao. He's rich, he's famous. Pero when he was called by God, no, he left everything. He left the he left his uh, yung pagsasabong, yung pag-inom, yung mga babae niya, di ba? So <laughs> naging ano siya, naging uh, naging father father of the house siya. Nagkumpaka talaga nakita mo yung pagbabago. So let us be reminded that God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. James 4:6. Si, si James pa pala sumulat. <laughs> All right. Uh, Itafe, kindly read this. Walk humbly with God and overcome mm-hmm. evil with good. Show mercy and so mercy. Mm-hmm. Receive His grace. Receive His power. Mm-hmm. And receive His strength to be everything He's called you to be. Amen. Amen. That's true. Praise Amen. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you agree with that? Yes. So, we're done. Yes. Sabi natin, recap lang. No? We need to overcome with good. No, So, be good. Do not overcome evil with, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12.21. Next, better. Okay, we're done with good. Let's go to better. Never give up. Ito niyan, daga na yan. Kada <laughs> mag-give up. So, it says here, let's ask Brother James. Kindly read this, Brother James. Be better. Uh, don't give up. Be better. A joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Mm-hmm. Ano masasabi natin dito? Sister LV, kindly read the next slide. Uh, you're muted po. You're muted. Throughout life, there will always be something that will try to take our joy. Mm-hmm. Kapon to pinag-usap. Yan po yung sinabi ko sa inyo kahapon. I know, na-remind ako ni Sister dito eh. Go ahead, Sister. It's like a grumpy bank teller. It's a family member aggravating you. Computer virus, your flight got delayed or your spouse is taking too long. So, there are small things, there are big things, no? Ano yan, James? Ano Sino yan? Si Ronald? Ano yun? Ano yun? Okay. So, ma'am na, na overheard ka lang. So, pwede daw tayong ma-irritate ng maraming bagay. So, magbigay ka nga kayo ng example ng mga, mga, mga maliliit na bagay lang na pwede maka-irritate sa inyo. Ano, pastor? Di ba? Pag tinawag kang, ang taba mo. Ang sakit nun, ah. <laughs> Ako, sanay na ako eh. Mayroon ba yun? Ako din. <laughs> Ang sakit no. Para bang, alam mo, dudurugin yung puso mo tapos papang mawawala yun. Alam, alam yun, sa Pilipino, sa Pilipino pa naman, sa kultura natin, ang hilig natin magbatia, magbatian ng ano, uy, tumaba ka ngayon na. Ang taba mo. Tapos susundan pa, parang, ano, yung, ah, uh, pero gumanda ka pa rin. <laughs> babawiin, ano? Biglang yeah. babawiin. <laughs> okay, yun. Ha. Ano pa? Ano pa yung somehow uh, irritation? Meron din. Eh, pumayat ka. <laughs> Go ahead, sis, uh, Tita Fe. Uh, hindi, Pastor. Meron din. Hindi lang yung taba. Yung, mm. Meron din magsasas. Ay, pumayat ka. Pumayat ka. <laughs> Opo. Sa- <laughs> Pumayat. Pas- Pastor, may gumagawa na ako gusto yung balikan. Sige po. Walang kinakain. Go ahead, James. Yeah, di ba, mabalik ako dun sa, kunyari, when somebody disrespect you or kaya, or something na nasaktan ka, and then, ang pang-counter dun is yun nga, yung sinasabi natin yung fruit of all the, fruit of the, fruit of the spirit. Fruit of the spirit. But then, but syempre, syempre bago yun, na hurt ka na eh. So, mm-hmm. how can you overcome that hurt? Tapos, although, inaano mo pa rin yung fruit, yung fruit na yon, but still, paano mo ma-ano ma- yung, yung hurt? Kasi, for example, may mga tao na sensitive ka, tapos mm-hmm. para, yun nga, ma-overcome mo naman yung pag-i, yung nasaktan ka agad eh. 
mm. from there iba sabi natin wag tayong gaganti but rather iyan na yung fruit mm. Mm-hmm. So how can you being a per, as a person na Marco nasaktan ka pa rin kaya masaktan mo kasi iba kaya nilang iano eh mm-hmm. ibaliwalain ba mm-hmm. one Mag-iyan good pa nila. one good thing about sa mga pangalan ng Diyos, sabi doon sa Isaiah di ba wonderful di ba counselor mighty god yung isa sa magandang mga tatak niya eh, counselor di ba mm-hmm. ang ang pinakamaganda diyan If, uh, we experience that you know, and we are having a hard time forgiving or reacting it is better no na magsumbong tayo wag sa tao kasi minsan lumalala eh halimbawa galit ako kay si Sir Elvin mm-hmm. tapos magsusumbong ako sa ibang tao di parang sinisiraan ko lang si Sister Elvie parang ganoon mm-hmm. ang pinakamabisa magsumbong tayo sa Diyos nasubukan niyo na ba magsumbong sa Diyos actually yes. Kapag nagsumbong ka sa Diyos, humuhulas yung pakiramdam mo eh. There is this feeling of relief when you tell, kumbaga if you tattle tale, sabi nga ng mga bata to God, no? Kumbaga tell everything to God, cry it out to God, no? Na Lord, I experienced this is unfair. You are a just God. I want justice on this. One, two, three, blah blah blah. And then you will after you pray, you will feel this instant relief. Mm-hmm. that you felt na alam mo na God answered your prayers. So, yes. what will happen is that then you will have a clear mind. After experiencing the clear mind, you will go to your right senses, practice the whole, uh, practice the fruit of the Spirit, and then, surprisingly, uh, surprisingly, kasi I, I, I agree with James, no? I, I also experienced those feelings, no? those emotions, those anger, those uh, irritations. No? But surprisingly, Now, when you share it to God, after sharing it to God, you'll have this relief from your heart and then you'll be able to forgive and uh, move on. Yeah. Sabi nga sa, Pilip- sa Pilipinas, eh, pa-move on, move on din. Di ba? <laughs> so, yes. so, Tama ka dyan, Pastor. Nakuha ko, Pastor. Salamat. Uh, dito nga sabi, oh, don't go the next 20 years allowing the same people and same circumstances to frustrate you. Di ba? We need to change We need to change our approach, right? What do we mean by changing our approach? We need to look at the perspective of God. Because if we look into our perspective, somehow we use this uh, tunnel vision. Eh, na, you know, we kind of focus on the problem, focus on the people, focus on... Oh, uh, pet, kailan ko kaya sasaktan tong taon to sa buisit ko? Alam mo yun, parang gano'n. Parang <laughs> if you're focused in anger, if you're focused in... Uh, how can I revenge? No? How, when can I revenge? Kasi these are the things that were taught to us in our Filipino culture. Remember all the movies of Fernando Po Jr., Lito Lapid, Ramon Rebilla? They were all about revenge. All, all the movies, yung mga drama queens sama natin, Maricel Soriano, Vilma Santos, Nora Honor, Sharon Coneta... All, all about revenge. So this is the culture that were taught to us, the way of life. If people were uh, 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 disrespectful to you, or uh, uh, kumbaga, may ginawang di maganda sa'yo, palang araw, humanda ka, gaganti ako. Yan yung kultura ang tinuro sa atin. Eh. Pero hindi yun yung kultura ang tinuturo ng Bible. Ang tinuturo yes. ng Biblia, change your approach. Change your perspective. Look at the perspective of God. Ayan. Let's ask uh, uh, Sister Marian to read this. Sister Marian, kindly read this. Okay, let's ask... Uh, okay, Brother Besad, kindly read this. You're, you're muted, Brother Besad. Uh, you're mute. You're muted. Unmute yourself. There you go. Yes, sorry. It's okay. Uh, what's upsetting you now doesn't have to ups- upset um, you anymore. You can choose to keep your cool and stay calm and steady. Mm-hmm. Remember and relax attitude in going to... Length, length, length. Sorry, my my English is not. <laughs> It's okay. It's a. Uh, I apologize. Don't worry, brother Besad. It's a tie. All of us are like that. <laughs> <laughs> our, 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 our English is also limited. 
<laughs> Sorry po. It's okay. Po. <laughs> yeah, it says here, no? Uh, what's upsetting you now? Doesn't have to upset you anymore. Yan, James, sinagot na yung tanong mo. Right? Remember, a relaxed attitude is going to lengthen your life. Naku, eh, pagka hindi ka pala relax, pwede kang high blood din. Pwede kang mas... <laughs> Di ba? Pwede kang magkasakit. Magkakasakit ka. Yeah. Kasi, kasi naitanong ko yung pastor, kasi ganito, kasi kunyari pagka-sensitive ka, ta, kumbaga, hmm. yung, yung nasaktan ka na, tas, although mapapatawad mo naman yung taong nanakit sa'yo, but still, hmm. Napektuhan ka na. Alam mo oh, yeah. It, 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 yes. Is it valid? The, the question yes. is, is it valid? Yes, yes it is it valid. Is valid. Yeah. But staying yes. there in that position, staying, yes. uh, in that situation, will not help us. We need to call on to God. Lord, help me. Pull me out from this situation. <laughs> Because this kind of thinking, this kind of feeling, will not make me a better person. It will make me a bitter person. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Mm. So it says here we need to transform our approach to and enjoy the ride because life is like an adventure, you know. It's like traveling from LA to San Francisco, six-hour drive. Yeah. Open. So we need, we need to enjoy the ride. If you are traveling from uh, LA to Florida, you'll be passing by New Mexico, Arizona, Texas. Go to Reggie's house, and then uh, uh, Louisiana, and then Florida. So. It's a it's a long ride, so that is our life. No, we need to transform our approach to change and enjoy the ride. Sometimes the ride is smooth, sometimes the ride is bumpy. No? So we need to enjoy it with God. Allow Him to be the the driver of our lives. Right? Sabi dito, the next time you're tempted to be upset, ask yourself this. No. Mm-hmm. Is this really worth giving up my joy? Ayan, Sister LB, pumasok na yung ano, reminder mo. <laughs> pumasok na yung reminder mo. Is this really worth me giving up my joy? Diba? Um, what can you say Pastor about Jeff. Go ahead, Sister Tita Fe. Malaala ko yung co-work ko noon, mm-hmm. haponesa siya. Ang pangalan mm-hmm. ay si Aiko. Oh, Ang Melendez. asawa niya ay Amerikano, si Bob. Mm-hmm. And then Bob sometimes would would raise his voice, you know, mm-hmm. to her. And mm-hmm. then most of the time she she weeps. Uh, her tears roll down her cheeks. Mm-hmm. And But he, she said, oh, when meal time comes, I eat as much as I, <laughs> I can. <laughs> Even if, when My tears are rolling down my cheeks. I don't want to to punish myself mm-hmm. by uh, by not eating or or uh, being unhappy. Said, mm-hmm. but her tears roll down her cheeks, and she eats, enjoys her food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a perspective, right? It's it's a perspective. Yes. yes. So we need yes. to change yes. our approach. Yes. We need to change our perspective. Right. I'm already. He, she said, Pastor, I'm already punished by him mm-hmm. getting angry with me. Why should I punish myself also? <laughs> so I have yep. to eat and enjoy mm-hmm. my food. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Brother Ronald, kindly uh, read the next slide. Brother Ronald. Okay. I transfer natin kay Sister Reggie. Sister Reggie. I need it. Like, If you make this decision to not give away your joy, mm-hmm. to leave it stay happy, God promises you'll be strong. You'll have better rela- relationship and you'll accomplish more. A joyful heart is good medicine. Amen. Ay bol na yan nagsasabi, di ba? Amen, amen. Mas madami ka daw magagawa, you'll accomplish more. Yeah, you'll have a you'll have a better relationship. Right? Yes. Yeah. God promise you, you'll be stronger. Diba? So, you need to make a decision. A happy heart is a good medicine. So, okay. sabi nga dito eh, hold on to your joy and move forward into the abundant life God has in store for you. So, sabi, a cheerful heart is a good medicine, Proverbs 17.22. Ayan. Yan yung ating better. Let's go. Amen. Let's go no, sa best. As we end, ano yung sinasabi dun sa best? Good, better, best. Okay? Sabi dito, uh, 
Then he arose. No, medyo kakaiba naman to, medyo story to. And uh, rebuked the wind and said to the sea, "Peace, be still." And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. So Mark 4:39. Are we all familiar with this story? Yes. yes. Yeah, so they were uh spreading the the body of water. Jesus was asleep. Uh, all the apostles, disciples are, were like busy, no? Uh, struggling with the great storm. And then suddenly, Jesus arose, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Tumahimik ka. <laughs> At nagulan sila, no? sabi nila. Uh, imagine even the, the storm, even the wind, even the, ano, e- even the great storm listened to this man. No? And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. This is a, pic, a beautiful picture no, ng buhay natin minsan. Sometimes we, we felt like our life is chaotic, our life is a mess, and then we found Jesus, and then the Lord will say to our life, Tumahimik ka, peace, and be still. And then you experience calmness, tranquility. Have you experienced that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right? Yeah. No, Kung baga, uh, Storm is a storm. If, uh, if there is one thing that we are so familiar with, yan yung bagyo. <laughs> because in the Philippines, no, uh, for some time it is hot, maya maya ulan, maya maya bagyo, so maya maya mainit na naman, pinagpapawisa ka na naman. So that is the weather we have there. And uh, somehow, dito sa America, if they say na uulan, 10%, talagang 10%. <laughs> sa mm-hmm. Philippines, pag sinabing Uh, maganda ang araw natin ngayon, then maya maya bumabagyo. So, hindi ma-predict ng pag-asa. Walang kapag pag-asa tayo sa pag-asa. <laughs> no, uh, ito yung experience ng mga apostles. Pero Jesus, no, rebuked yung, yung great storm, yung wind. Are we experiencing great storm? Well, sa buong mundo, may pandemic. No? Do you honestly believe that Jesus can say, Stop to mahimik ka pandemic. And we will go back to normal, right? Okay, let's ask Sister LV to read this. Have you ever thought about the fact that a boat can be surrounded by water? Mm-hmm. Sailing through a vast ocean with water for miles in every direction. Mm-hmm. But it's not any problem unless the boat starts taking on the water. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> on the water? Uh-huh. Yeah. Di ba? Ang laki-laki kaya yeah. ng ano, ang laki kaya, three-fourth kaya ng buong mundo, eh ano? Too big. Too big, di ba? Imagine mo, sa sobrang laki ng body of water, even the largest boat will like be a tiny dot, no? Mm-hmm. Pero that boat, that ship can easily uh, sail from, one, from point A to point B. Bakit? Kasi... Ano sikreto? The water is outside. It's not inside. Right? Mm-hmm. Ayan sabi dito, if the boat starts allowing the ocean to come inside before long, it will it sink. Will sink. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, kapag inalaw natin, lahat ng problema sa mundo pumasok sa atin, eh kaliit liit natin, sigurado, <laughs> sigurado <laughs> lubog tayo. <laughs> Sigurado, lunod tayo. Lunod. Dulubog tayo eh. ba? Diba? Kaya sabi dito, the same principle is true. Right? Uh, in life, you can have trouble all around you. Andyan yung stress. Nandyan yung frustration. Nandyan yung worry. ba? Diba? Kasi, yeah, alaw mo. Inalaw mo. So, meron kang choice. Do you agree with that? Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, ang mundo na ito, pwede ka namang bugbugin eh. Ituro sa'yo lahat ng problema. A lot of people or other people, hindi nila matake, they will just end their life. And uh, it's hard. I understand. Uh, mahirap yon. Hindi natin sila pwedeng sisihin. No? Dahil hindi naman natin na experience probably yon Pero meron tayong paraan. Pwede tayong, pwede tayong tumulong actually, right? Sa pagiging, dapat makita nila 
yung Panginoon sa buhay natin. ba? Diba? So, sabi dito, others are experiencing health problems, broken relationships, financial shortage, lalo na ngayon, pandemic. In, ngayon, nag-adjust yung mga bata, yung mga teachers sa school. Lahat tayo nag adjust sa work. ba? Diba? Lahat tayo sa church. Kalain mo ba na magiging para kaming DJ lahat? <laughs> <laughs> magpipreach ka ba naman sa magpipreach ka sa wala kang taong kaharap di ba? so di mo nga alam kung may nakikinig sa'yo wala eh. <laughs> so this is different for all of us this is uh, something na kumbaga uncharted waters for all of us so ano yung, ano, ano yung good news I think good news just like the boat you don't have to allow what's on the outside to get on the inside. Do you agree yes. with that? Yes. yes. No, kasi ang laking boat, laking ship sa mata natin kasi we're just human being. But this ship, this boat is only as small as a dot compared to the three-fourth no, body of waters of the whole earth. So, but it can go from point A to point B. Di ba? Pwede kang mag, mag Disney cruise, magsaya, kumain, sumayaw, Parang wala nangyayari habang tumatakbo yung Disney Cruise na yan. But here's the thing. Once you allowed, yung mga tubig pumasok, ayun na, sigurado, chaos. ba? Diba? Uh-huh. So, pwede tayong, pwede tayong, ano eh, pwede tayong mabuhay ng tahimik. Basta gagamitin lang natin yung tamang choice. Sabi dito, when difficult times come, you don't have to be overwhelmed by the waves of worry or fear. What should you do? Yan. Yun ang magandang tanong. Ano daw ang gagawin natin? Diba? Chill lang tayo. Follow the example of Jesus. When he was amid the storm, he stood up and spoke to the storm. Wow. Can I do that? No, can I do that? No. Yes, you can. Because if you ask anything in the name of Jesus, the Lord will hear you. Right? So, Lord, I rebuke. Sabi ni Jesus, I, I, uh, be still. No? I, I rebuke you, yung wind. Ikaw, kung ano man yung wind mo, kung ano man yung storm mo sa buhay, pwede mo sabihin, be still, I rebuke you in yes. Jesus' name. Not your, by yes. your name. Wala tayong power, ha? paalala ko na sa inyo. <laughs> Kasi baka gayahin natin. Eh. In Jeffrey's name. No? Hindi naman pwede yun. <laughs> in Jesus' name dapat. We need to acknowledge the power of God. Right? So whatever you're experiencing right now, this neighbor is uh, so mean to me. This, uh, this situation, I have financial shortage. This relationship is broken. Uh, I found out na meron akong cancer pala or I found out na yung kaibigan ko nagsasuffer ng ganito-ganyan. Pwede ka manalangin. In Jesus' name, I rebuke you. Be calm. Be still. No? And, you'll see, and you, you'll see results. You'll be surprised. Right? I remember na nalangin ako eh. Minsan ang mahirap, kulang din tayo sa pananampalataya. Ako na nga mismo, pastor, may lumapit sa akin. Sabi, pastor, panalangin mo naman to na mawala yung sakit at saka kasi medyo imposible sa totoo lang ng sitwasyon. Saka ako nagkakwento ko ano yung sitwasyon na yun. Kung baga, merong foreign material sa loob ng katawan, sabi ko, sige, panalangin natin. Tapos bumalik. Nawala daw. Alam mo, sabi ko, pa-X-ray ka uli. <laughs> Alam mo yun, nakakatawa, no? Ikaw yung nanalangin, ikaw yung mismo hindi naniwala. At sinabi mo pa na pa-X-ray ka uli, baka na-miss lang ng doktor. So, if you start to pray, no, before you start to pray, you need to claim it and believe na sasagutin ng Panginoon yun. Di ba? Amen. Imagine mo ako na mismo, Pastor, lumapit sa akin yung tao. Pastor, sana mawala itong ganito. O di pag pinag natin, bumalik. Pastor, nawala. Praise the Lord. Alam mo yun, sa, ibis na sagot ko, Uy, praise the Lord. Di ba? That's good news. Hindi, ang sagot ko, may doubt. Palik ka sa ospital. Pa-X-ray mo ulit. Baka meron. <laughs> baka na miss lang. Di ba? Oh. That, is a, that is a nice, that is not a nice attitude. Kasi we need to be thankful. Di ba? We need to be, uh, ano, we need to have faith. So, ganun din. Pag uh, we will ask the storms in our lives, be still. 
Be quiet. No? In the name of Jesus. And then you'll see if it will happen. Right? Mm -hmm. Always remember, no matter what storms may come against you, the greater one lives on the inside of you. Right? Amen. Amen. Sabi nga, eh, merong uh, intel inside. Eh, tayo, may Jesus inside. Saan ka pa? Di ba? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, sabi nga dito, turn to Him and walk in His power. Don't let the storm in and speak peace to every area of your life. Amen? Amen. Yan, yan yung ating uh, usapin ngayong gabi. Good, better, best. Sana may natutunan kayo. Wake up lang. Uh, be good. Sa good natin, ano? Do not overcome evil by, by evil. Uh, uh, do not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans 12, 21. At dito, Proverbs 17, 22, sa ating better, a joyful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Sa ating best, then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still, and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Mark 4.39. And you can also do that in Jesus' name, right? Amen. Tayo. Is there anything that you want to pray or uh, prayer request before we start? Na tayo. Uh, pasta, ano, I just want to give thanks. Ano, pala. Okay. Um, last time, I think um, six months ago or eight months ago, they said I have this uh, gallstone and polyp on my gallbladder. Uh -huh. But I didn't do anything. I just tried yung Chamber prayer and yeah, like um, uh, parang vitamins lang for mm -hmm. then I had CT scan, gallbladder, and um, polyps are now gone. Wow, no praise the Lord! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for surgery, <laughs> pero yung faith. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hindi ko naman sasabihin sa na bumalik ka, patsak ka ulit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I got the result, parang me sometimes ganun eh, parang, oh, are they, are they sure? Uh, are they sure about that? But no, instead of thank you, Lord. <laughs> but Amen. it's just in this time, like, ano, Amen. Confirm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, mabaitan Diyos. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes as we pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for your grace. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord God, for your grace to overcome in this life. Lord, we choose your goodness. We choose your ways. Help us to show your love and walk in peace in every circumstance, Lord God. Amen. Father, we hold on to joy. We choose to live each day with peace and happiness. We choose to rely on your strength and your word, which guide us our every step. We love you and we thank you for loving and directing us. Thank you for filling us with your Holy Spirit and empowering us, Lord God, to stand against the storms of life. We declare, Lord God, peace over every area of our lives and thank you for working things out for my good. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I believe that you died upon the cross for me that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of, of, of my sins. And I believe that on the third day you rose from the dead and went to heaven to prepare a place for me. I accept you now, Lord God, as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. And because you are my Savior, I shall not die but have everlasting life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, guys. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank maraming you. maraming salamat. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll be reopening Amen. soon. Amen. We'll be reopening soon. Simpang Pinoy tayo sa Wiley Chapel. No? Uh, LA First Church of the Nazarene, the Filipino Congregation. Hopefully, hopefully, October 4. And... Uh, ano lang, it's not September 16, but September 30, 1984 pala ang uh, original birthday ng LA First Church of the Nazareth Amen. the Filipino Congregation. So happy 36th birthday sa simbahan sa LA. So God bless you guys. Uh, God bless. Good night. We'll, we'll see you again uh, next Friday. Uh, every Wednesday we have the 
the uh, sa Facebook and YouTube, we have the Walk Through the Bible. It's Genesis to Re- Revelation. You can learn a lot from that. And also every Friday, we have our live group. And every Sunday, of course, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, lagi naman nire-replay ni Jairus yan. So hindi niyo mamimiss yan. Okay, God bless you. Bye. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night.